Uh, we're going to get into clay. I love clay. Okay. When you do clay, you're always going to need a bag. This has got crumbs in it, so I'll shake these out. But uh, you're always going to need a bag because you want to keep your clay moist. Okay. You're going to get about a baseball size lump of clay. And uh, this has already got all the oxygen taken out of it. Okay. If you work it or fold it too much, you actually put oxygen back into it, which means it will explode when we heat it up um, in the kiln. So to do this, you want to take your lump and kind of form it into a circle. So you're just going to kind of slap it around. <laughs> Is he as good at that? <laughs> Aren't you glad we're making a video of this? Okay. All right. All right. Okay. I am. Okay, I will. All right. So, to start a pinch pot, you get your lump and you take your thumb and you push it all the way in down to about the bottom. Okay. And then, amazingly, to make a pinch pot, you start pinching, pinching it. Okay. Okay. And so I'm. I start at the bottom and I try and pinch at the bottom first and I'm just pinching just really soft okay I'm not like squeezing it I'm just lightly pressing it okay now what you want when this is all done is you want a pot that's about a quarter of an inch thick to about a half inch thick all the way around Okay, and if you push it, if you press it too hard in any one spot, it gets warped and deformed. Okay, we want a nice even pot if possible, or cup. You're basically going to wind up with like about a, you know, a cup. That's an interesting question, okay? So, after you fire this, okay, um, it becomes a ceramic. Now, ceramic is the same stuff that they use on the outside of uh, shuttles uh, to prevent them from burning up in the atmosphere on re-entry, okay? So this can withstand thousands of degrees, actually, and our kiln will get up into about the 1500 degree range. Um, it's that big silver thing in the back. Okay. Can we paint it? Yep, so after this dries, okay, you can do all kinds of things. You can uh, paint it with an underglaze. Um, while it's wet like this, I could take some clay tools and kind of like carve designs into the side, on the inside and outside. Can you make it bigger? I could make it bigger, but I think this is enough for a demonstration. So you want to wind up with something like this. I would probably, if you came up to me with this, I'd say go a little bit thinner. Try and squeeze it out, make it a little bit bigger. Okay. Okay. You'll wind up with a pinch pot. Mine's going to break.